Multiple alleles. It's another one of our complex patterns. Multiple alleles, blood types. So what exactly does it mean to say multiple alleles? The difference between this and the other traits is there's actually three different alleles. There's an A gene, there's a B gene, and an O gene. But every organism has two chromosomes. So take a look at this. So multiple alleles, more than one type of allele for a trait. An example is blood type. Now I'm going to skip down to this. So look at it like this. Here's the blood type phenotype. There's blood type A, blood type B, blood type A and B, and blood type O. Here's the possible genotypes. So within this, you have dominant recessive, but you also have another pattern. So let's look at this. A is dominant over O. B is dominant over O. But A and B are co-dominant. So here's the deal. The person who makes a blood protein and it, it has a gene. You either have the gene for a blood protein and it looks like A, or you don't. That's blood type O. You either have the blood, a different gene that makes a blood protein, and that's called B, or you don't. But a person can inherit an A gene and a B gene. That's blood type AB. By the way, the plus and minus is a different set of genes. So take a look at this. This is this person has the A gene. See, they can be heter homozygous A, big A, big A, or just AA, or they can be AO, which is expressing A over O, regular dominant pattern. They can inherit a B, or another B, B homozygous, or they can be big B, I should just say B, B or lowercase. Over here, they don't have the blood protein sticking off their cell. Now, here's the thing. The co-dominant, one of the biggest mistakes students make is if they're A, B, they think half their cells are A and half their are B. No, every one of their cells has an A protein and a B protein sticking off of it. There are a surface protein, and that's the phenotype. The genotype is the letter combination. So when we do Punnett squares, it's going to be the same thing. You'll, each parent has two letters. They send one. So the minus is something called the RH factor. All right, plus or minus. Let's show you a little statistic. I haven't updated this, but this is where we are about right now. Now look at this grid. This is not a Punnett square that any of my students will ever have to do, but what it's trying to show is ABO, ABO, what are all the different types of combinations? So you can be homozygous for A, you can be homozygous for B, you can be homozygous for neither, which we call O, or absence of. You can be heterozygous for A, heterozygous for B, or you can be heterozygous for or the both alleles and be blood type AB. So let's go back to here and go back up to here and look at here's 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 the genotypes up at the top. So I'm going to give you an example. And I want you to try this Punnett square. So take a look at this example. I'm showing phenotypes. Why am I showing phenotypes? Because you don't look and see genotypes. Like any genetic principle, you look and see phenotypes. You can project what the genotypes would be. So remember, you have to remember that O is recessive. So parent one has a father that's AB and a mother that's A. I should have said that. Let me say that again. Father that is A and a mother that's AB. Okay? Uh, parent 2 has a parent that's A or B. The question is, which one of these two parents could produce an O child? You know what this does? This goes back to the classic case. Can a dominant and a dominant produce a recessive? We say yes if both are heterozygous. So remember that when filling out your Punnett square. So take a second, set up a Punnett square, and I'll show you what it should look like. So parents one, A, B, or and this uh, one parent was A, B, the other one is A, O. We're assuming this because we're trying to solve this problem. Both parents are claiming it's their child. Well, here's a A parent, a B parent. We're going to write them as heterozygous, and we move our letters down just like we do Punnett squares. So pause the video in a second, and I will show you this solution. OK. 
Okay, so back to this. Who are the parents? Parents two. Let's think about our explanation. A, B. It sends A or B. A, a B parent can never produce an O child. It could produce a child that carries the recessive if its partner has, sends an O. So A and B can produce an O, but an A, B can never produce an O. It can produce a heterozygous A or heterozygous B. So that's the solution to this blood type Punnett square. So take a moment, and there you go. Brought to you by Curious Moran Land.